Nolan's video last week really got me thinking. I'm thinking a lot along that vein of thought where this age range of human, uh, this young adult, this 20-something, whatever, millennial, whatever, I mean, that, no. I've been thinking a lot about that, what it means to be young and independent in this world full of all sorts of different opportunities and what you like to do, and Nolan pretty much hit the, the head of the nail, like, you don't need to know exactly what you want to do with your life at 22, or even 24, or, or 19, or 17, or whatever. Like, if you do, great. That's amazing. If you don't, that's fine too. But the, the thing I thought that was interesting is Nolan and I kind of have a similar problem, but kind of in an opposite kind of way, where Nolan is kind of doing a lot of things, and doesn't really know where he wants to go quite yet, maybe. I have lots of things I know I want to do with my life, whether it be, you know, my acting career, a directing career, continuing in lighting design and uh, theater electrician work that I do now uh, over at the theater. You know, whether, whether it's music with my solo career, getting a band going and all of that, like these are things I really want to do. And I realized that it's okay to just, I realize that it's okay to be patient. It not only is it important, but it's okay to be patient. Because for me right now, for my job, I, you know, I, I love my job, I love what I do. I get to work in theater, I get to work in the industry that I got my degree in, um, but it takes up a lot of my time. And that can be very disheartening sometimes because I want to do all these other things. I want to do some acting gigs. I want to play my solo music shows. I want to start a band. I, I want to go to continue going to magic tournaments. You know, I want to start podcasts. And, and, you know, now we're doing this YouTube project and I want to do all these things. But I can't do all of them to the extent I want to do them because of, you know, certain priorities in my life right now. And until that changes, I, you know, I can only do so much. And... I think this year I've really taken that to heart and realized that, you know, that's okay. To play off of some of Nolan's theme from last week, I really just wanted to to hit home that, that it's okay to not know what you want to do, but it's also okay to be patient if you know what you want to do, but you can't get there yet. Sometimes it takes a lot of hard work, sometimes it just takes some time, so you just have to be patient and do what you can where you are to work towards that. Like I said, I'm very, very busy at the theater, but I'm still starting to do a couple solo gigs at Sweet Melissa's, which is a bar I am a regular at, where I do live band karaoke every Sunday evening with my friends, and I started performing there myself. And you'll probably hear some of my music on this channel at some point, probably when I don't have an idea for a video. Um, so, you know, keep working hard, do things that you're passionate about, find ways to make those things important and, and valuable. surrounded by junk right now. If you feel like you're in a rut, like I, I've felt in the past year or so frequently, it's so important to remind yourself that unless you are miserable, unless you are destitute financially or otherwise, then, you know, stick it out and find the little ways, like I talked about in my walk to work, find the little ways that you can make things worthwhile. Make the connections at work that lead to connections for your passion projects. And hopefully it'll all work out. Um, it's the road I'm going down right now, and hopefully if, if that's, you know, it's different between arts or sciences, business, education, health, and all of that. Um, it's slightly different in various industries, but um, I think the idea rings true uh, throughout it all. So uh, don't give up, work hard, um, and don't wait till the last minute to do your video.